Hi and welcome to this episode of Cup TV. I'm Amanda McGee and I'm a designer with Craftsy Print. Today I'm going to show you how to make the shoe kits, the sandal style shoe kit and also if I've got time the trainer style kit. Right, firstly the one that you saw first of all is one that I've made up and that's the Hearts and Flowers Baby Girl Shoe Kit which is cup number 127739 underscore 56. So I'm going to show you how to make this style first of all. So the particular one I'm going to use for this demonstration is actually a different one, Zoo Animals Baby Shoe Kit with box and it's cup number 128009 underscore 56. Now when you've purchased the kit um, and downloaded it, you print off the, the sheets. There's three sheets in the kit. There's the shoe part, the box lid, and the box base. So first thing you need to do is print them off and cut the elements out. So I've already done that. So I've got the, these all cut out, ready to go. So firstly what you need to do is you need to score all your parts. So I've already scored them, the box, lid and base and also the shoe. And then all you do is you fold your tabs down. So that's what I'm going to do just now, is just fold them over like so. Now I'm going to get myself all glued up here because I always do. And if my glue runs out, I might have to go for another glue or something else because I'm a bit short of glue. Anyway, what you need to do is take one of the soles, they're both the same size so it doesn't really matter which one, and work out the centre of the sole, approximately the centre of the sole. I tend to do, I tend to prefer to do, is actually put the glue onto the sole rather than trying to put onto individual tabs. This is where I'm going to get all sticky. So just some clear glue, round shoe, sole. And then just simply work out the centre, so it's roughly about that point and that point there. And then start wrapping, except I've done that upside down, never mind, <laughs> so you're all learning. Right, put glue on this side. Just make slight mistakes once in a while. Doesn't matter. Right. I won't see that part because it's on the inside anyway. So, right. Now, turn this over and just taking each individual tab and just curling it round, stick it round the shoe. It doesn't matter if you don't get it perfect because the sole's going to go on, the underside of the sole is going to go onto the shoe as well. You may need to add a little bit more glue at this point, but just basically bring it round. I tend to like to put it flat onto the table at this point just to fit it in and then get this part here right the way around. I don't quite have enough glue underneath there, so I'll just put a bit more glue on. And then just stick that round here, like so. And then just hold that in. And then at this point, this part here, you need to stick here. So I will put a little bit of glue open, put a little bit, blob of glue there, put this background and then just put it up here like so and just hold it for a couple of seconds so it sticks like so. 
So it looks a bit messy underneath, but that won't matter so much. And there's a couple of bits that haven't stuck, but that's okay. Because once the salt goes on, then you'll take a lot more time than what I've got. So, once that's dried, you can imagine it's dried, we'll then put some glue, if I've got enough. Oh, I might have to use double-sided tape when I come to do the box. This route. Right. Just put some glue underneath there. And then just take a shoe. Place. There you go. You're just going to look a lot neater than that. I've just been a bit quick with it for the purpose of the demonstration, but they do turn out a lot nicer than that. And then you can either put a, a button like I've done, or you can use one of the embellishments that's with the kit. Just stick that on, and I tend to use the um, Velcro, Velcro tape or something like that to stick it. So you would just stick that down with your tape like so. So that's that. Now the box, very simple. Just cut out your box and cut out the aperture. And bit of double sided, I'll just do a couple of little bits just for time. And then just put your acetate on, like so. And then I've scored already the long box, so I just fold like so and fold these parts in. Just a simple way of making a box. And then my tip, what I always do, once I've glued it, if I'm using glue, of course, which I've run out of, I use a bit of that sided. If you're using wet glue, I always find the best thing to use is paper clips because it holds it steady while you're doing it. So anyway, you know the rest of how to make a box. I won't bore you with how to put a box together, but basically you put the box together like so, and the box turns out like that. Shoot. Um, finally, there's a trainer kit, and I'll just quickly give you a quick show of how to do that. Same again, you just curl it a little bit, find your center, and then put that part together. Um, to lace it up, what you have to make sure you do is when, you can imagine that's the shoe, you put that inside and then you start to lace up with that inside. You can lace it up however you would like to lace up a shoe. You can lace it up just, just like that basically. Um, this particular one here is the Snowflakes Baby's First Christmas uh, trainer kit, cup number 131121 underscore um, 56. I've got quite a few other trainer kits and shoe kits on um, Craft Shoe Print under www.craftshoeprint.com forward slash Amanda McGee. You think I would know that by now, but never mind. So, sorry I couldn't show you it in full, but I think you get an idea of how to put the, them together. There is a tutorial on the site as well, um, for both the shoe kit and the trainer kit as well. And also in the trainer kit, there's a tutorial with the actual kit. So basically, just all I'm going to say now is thank you everybody over the past year who's purchased from myself and the other designers on Craft Shoe Print. And I'd like to say a very Merry Christmas to you all. Cheers.